Well, it is time to get the hot water heater installed underneath the sink in my shop. This is a Bosch ES4 four gallon electric hot water heater. This works off of a half inch water supply line and a 110 outlet. This is what comes in the packaging. So just the hot water heater, set of instructions, and a mounting bracket. It's a nice small compact unit. It is 13 and a half by 13 and three quarters by 13 and three quarters. So it's roughly a square. It fits well underneath of a sink. First thing first is to get the hot water heater underneath the sink and get it in position where it's gonna be located at. We need to do that in order to figure out where the rest of the plumbing is gonna line up at. Now that we got the hot water tank under the sink, we need to put it in the rough location where we run it at and go ahead and validate that all of the lines that need to connect to it and that need to be underneath the sink won't interfere with it. In this instance, I built the cabinet so I know now we're gonna clear our drain pipe and our water supply that's up behind here is gonna come down and tie into the cold water supply. The sink itself will come down and tie into the hot water supply. And this pipe, even though it's red, is actually the cold water supply. It's all I had left was red. So all of the plumbing is gonna clear the tank itself. We put the tank to the off position. We know that our wire will reach the plug-in. So in my case, we know we're all good. We've got all sorts of good clearances. And in my specific instance, this puts all the plumbing and electrical and everything over here out of the way so I get lots of extra nice storage on this side. So the first step to getting this installed is actually getting the bracket mounted. It comes with a bracket looks like this. And these little prongs correspond to some foam that's installed in the back of this mounting plate. So I've gone ahead and pre-pushed this up into there, and we're gonna take some measurements from the ground to the bottom, which is seven and three quarters, and from the right side to the other side, which is five. And now we know where we need to mount that bracket at. So you can see our bracket back here. We've mounted that to the wall. We're gonna go ahead and slide the heat water heater back and then lift it up and slide it down onto the bracket. It fits perfectly, nice and secure, right where it needs to be. We need to go ahead and tie into this three quarter inch line. This is PEX B piping, which is crimp rings. This stuff's widely available at Home Depot and Lowe's, all the major big box stores. Let's go grab the tooling and go ahead and get that supply valve installed. I've gone ahead and pre-assembled this valve assembly. We're going to come out of this three quarter inch line here with this 90. It goes to a three quarter to half inch reducer to a valve so we can isolate the tank from the water supply. And then it goes into a half inch threaded adapter which will use a flex hose to go from here to the cold water supply side of the tank. I'm just gonna thread it on to make life a little easier. There's a gasket in there, no thread tape needed. Okay, now that is gonna come down just like so. Perfect. We'll go ahead and take off the protector off the top of this. Thread in our, okay, everything's bottomed out. Our ring is in the proper position. We'll get a prep tool back in here, which will be a little tricky, but we'll make it work. loose all right the hot water supply will go directly to the faucet and this will go directly to the faucet we need to go get the faucet installed so we can get this side connected up so we have our hoses that have come down through this base in this case they're long so I'm gonna come over the top of my other piping to keep them up and out of the way. So I realize this is red, but it's actually a cold water supply. So it will go here. And this is the hot water supply, which will go directly into the top of the tank. There. We are now ready to install the stop valve, which will connect the hot water supply to the faucet. This is a half inch NPT by three eighths quarter turn stop valve. So half inch NPT threads right onto the hot water tank.
All right. That allows us to get right to that stop valve. This connection has a gasket in it. So we just remove this adapter and ferrule. Thread this connection directly onto here. That's the last water connection for the hot water tank itself. So we have turned on the water. So the water supply line right here comes over to this valve. So we're going to open this and we're going to put water to the tank. We're going to come down here. We're going to make sure this is open, which it is, which will allow us to vent up at the sink. So up here, I'm going to turn on the water. and we're venting the tank. So, we have opened the valve, filled the tank, opened the supply valve to the sink, and opened the sink which vented the tank. The hot water tank is now full of water and vented we need to plug it in and turn it on. So we're going to wrap our cord back here. And plug it in. And it's currently off. We're going to go to idle. Now that we've finished turning on the hot water to the hot water heater, we need to go ahead and turn on the cold water. Ignore the red, it's the last color I had. So the cold water is turned on. We're going to come up here, we're going to vent the cold water. And now we just need to wait for this to heat up. This is going to wrap up the Bosch 4 gallon hot water heater install. We tied into the main water line, we plumbed it up to the sink, and we got it plugged into the wall. We made sure all the plumbing and everything else was going to be nice and out of the way. We were able to save a lot of space because of the unit size. This is uh, about 13 and a quarter by 13 and a half by 13 and a half, roughly. Uh, nice and small, nice and compact, nice and out of the way. Very pleased with it so far. Uh, the price was right on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. Overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got a lot out of this one. And until next time, thanks for watching.